Very excited. It's the last, probably one of the last warm days. I think it's gonna be the last warm day until spring. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, looking for tennis balls, of course. But I wanted to show you what I've been doing with the mini greenhouses or the hoop houses. Um, I've got salad greens going along and I'm pretty excited. So people have been asking about an update from when we planted these while well, I put them together. We have, of course, we have videos about how to build them. Uh, the links will be at the end of the show here. But let's pop these puppies open and look at them and throw the ball, of course. Bring me your ball. So this is a mix of a bunch of lettuce seed packets I had, really, uh, from Fedco and, you know, a couple I just bought at the store. And I just laid this in and what's coming up are arugula, barking tennis ball dog. Sorry. So I've got arugula. This looks like Mizuna. Uh, a little cabbage, maybe? How cool. I just put some new plastic on this mini greenhouse. Here's the Thermatic vent. There's a link below to buy that vent. Everyone asked me where to buy it. I finally put a link in, in the show notes underneath this video here. And I just put new plastic on this fall and that is doing great. So that's going to continue to grow when it's warm. When it starts to get really cold, it'll stop and then we could harvest it or we could let it sit and then in the late winter it'll kick in again and then we've got like really early salad greens for the spring, which are pretty cool. But now let's check out the other one. This, this is the one I use the reinforced wire with and that one is with the PVC hoops. Again, I made a video about that one as well, and they're at the end of the show. You know what I, you know, as I always say about videos. But anyway, Garden Fork has like 300, 400 of them. Let's go look. This is the version with the concrete reinforcing mesh, really easy to make. This is, um, well, it's a, a little more of a design. Look at that knucklehead. But again, easy enough to make. Uh, this one, this is the second year that this plastic is on here. So let's let's take a look. Nice. So this bed is a combination of, these are parsley plants that I had growing already through the summer and then I cut them back quite severely. Is that the word? And then I put them underneath the hoop house here and they bounce back really nicely. I mean, parsley grows in cold weather anyway. And then I have some rosemary that I had growing through the summer and I thought it usually dies here in the winter unless I put it inside, but I thought maybe in the hoop house it might grow. What do you guys think? Let me know um, your opinions on that. And then I, it's kind of hard to see, but I seeded some salad greens. I guess I should pull these leaves out of here um, as well. And those are coming up and those will continue to come up. Neato. So this one again has the thermatic vent, but it has a vent on both ends and it has a support rod through the top and then PVC hoops down to a frame. And we have a video about assembling this. It'll be a link at the end of the video here and in the copy below the show notes here. But don't you just love rosemary? That's great. So these beds aren't ideally situated for winter growing because my sun is over there and these beds are kind of tilted away from the sunlight, but they do pretty good. And I put the shorter one in front of the taller one here, just thinking that, you know, that sunlight, if the tall one was here, it would block if a shorter one was over here. But these are doing good. You can see that the vents are open 
And then when it gets to be about 50, 45 degrees, those vents will automatically close. Again, I'll link in the show notes where to buy those vents. They're inexpensive, but you can get them online. And we gotta throw the ball again. This vent is starting to close because I think the sun has stopped hitting it as much. Hey, real quick, just after I shot this video, we got a f over a foot of snow. So I just wanna show you what the hoop houses look like after being dumped on. Let's go. All right, I just wanted to show you, um, just after I shot this video, it is over a foot of snow. So let's go look at the frames. Look at this, my feet are buried in the snow here. And here are our hoop houses. This has the um, PVC with the crossbar. That's a foot of snow on top of there. And that's holding up really nicely. And then this is our, um, it's really hard to see. It's our reinforced concrete wire hoop house. And that's holding up really well as well. I mean, it's totally engulfed, but that is a blanket, a thermal blanket. You can't even see the hoop house. Um, this one's a little better, but this is like a thermal blanket keeping in the warmth. So that's really cool. But a little testament to the different kind of mini greenhouses that I've built. All right, so tell me how you are growing stuff in winter or in the fall. Do you have some mini greenhouses or hoop houses? If you want to learn, here we go. If you want to learn more about the hoop houses I made, there should be a video clip thing to click right here or right in the notes below the video in the description as well, or that little eye in the sky thing here might be floating. But I always want to hear from you guys. How are you growing stuff? How do you extend your growing season, I guess is the word I want to say. All right, more information about me in the description below. Make it a great day. I'm gonna enjoy the last day of sunlight. I lost the ball, sorry. See ya.